His Excellency, Ferdinand R. Marcos Jr. May we request the President to lead the banging of the peace gong to symbolize the start of the National Peace Consciousness Month. On the 20th of July 2004, the National Peace Consciousness Month was proclaimed to celebrate the whole month of September. Red. Sa pangunguna ng mahal na Pangulo, sama-sama nating protektahan ang kapayapaan. Ito ay responsibilidad ng bawat mamamayan. Thank you, Mr. President. We may now be seated. We are gathered here today for the celebration of the National Peace Consciousness Month 2023 and declaration of Palawan Island in Puerto Princesa City as insurgency free. To deliver his welcome remarks, may we call on Puerto Princesa City Mayor Lucilo R. Bayron. His Excellency, President Ferdinand Romualdez Marcos Jr., members of the cabinet, elected officials of the province and the city, other guests, ladies and gentlemen, good morning. I am honored and privileged to officially warmly welcome you all to the second largest city in the country, home to the Puerto Princesa Underground River, a World Heritage Site, a national park, and one of the new seven wonders of nature. Puerto Princesa contributes to making our city insurgency-free through the following strategies. First, we brought government services closer to the people through the establishment of government facilities in our Northeast, Northwest, Southeast, and Southwest rural barangays. These facilities are four mini city halls equipped with road maintenance equipment, farm tractors, farm implements, and headed by a designated deputy mayor. Four enhanced satellite clinics with medical personnel led by our rural health physicians operating as birthing facilities, diagnostic centers, and soon as a primary healthcare facility. Four police stations built by the city government, equipped with police cars purchased by the city government for mobility to maintain peace and order. Second, through our caring programs, where we distribute 2,000 pesos quarterly allowances in all our barangays for our senior citizens, PWDs, TANODs, and soon for our solo parents too. Another caring program is our quarterly Ugnayan sa Barangay in our rural barangays, which are joined by PNP and military personnel. In our Ugnayan sa Barangay, we hold a short program where PNP and military officers talk about insurgency. Then, we distribute commercial rice to all the families of the barangay, and distribution is done by the police force. We deliver services of the city government, conduct libring gupit by PNP, military, and civilian barbers. Before the program, the PNP entertains the public with their dancing policemen and women. Another caring program is our personal visits to IP communities, where we conduct parlor games before we hold a short program distribute rice to all the IP families, distribute vitamins and medicines, this being done by the city health personnel, and seedlings done by the city agriculture office. 
Then, we eat with the eyepiece through a Buddha fight. Third strategy, construction of infrastructure projects in all barangays, concreting and opening of barangay roads and farm-to-market roads, multi-purpose buildings, covered gyms, daycare centers, solar lighting in rural barangays, along highways, in our borders, community centers, and in our IP communities. Electric uh, street lighting in the population area. Opening of a 2.9 kilometers access road to Mangapen, a Batak IP community in our last barangay in the northeast, which was previously not accessible by road. This is Puerto Princesa's recipe for peace and progress that makes us confident of the support and trust of the people to government. Mr. President, I hope that your first visit to Puerto Princesa as president in celebration of the 2023 National Peace Consciousness Month and declaration of the province of Palawan and the city of Puerto Princesa as insurgency free underscore our commitment to peace and progressive nation building through decisive and caring local actions. Thank you, Mr. President, for visiting our city and province. Pagpalainawa ng Pakinoong Diyos ang lungsod ng Puerto Princesa, ang lalawigan ng Palawan, ang bansang Pilipinas, at ang lahing Pilipino. Thank you, Mayor Byron. At this point, may we call on the Department of Information and Communications Technology Secretary and Cabinet Officer for Regional Development and Security, Regional Task Force of Mimaropa, Secretary Ivan Jan E. Uy, to deliver a message. Your Excellency, Mr. President, Ferdinand Marcus Jr., Ladies and gentlemen, good morning. I join every Palawenio in celebrating the declaration of Palawan as insurgency-free by the Palawan Peace and Order Council. Palawenios have proven that they are staunch defenders of peace, choosing compassion over hatred, understanding over ignorance, and development over destruction. This hard-earned declaration is just a start for Palawenos on this long path of achieving lasting peace and development. This milestone could not have been achieved without the various sectors of society working together towards attaining peace and stability in Palawan. I thank our brave troops of the Western Command of the Armed Forces of the Philippines for keeping Palawenos safe through their operations, to the Mimaropa RTF LK, led by co-vice chairs, Romlon Governor and Regional Development Council Chairperson, Jose Riano, and Occidental Mindoro Governor and Regional Peace and Order Council Chairperson, Eduardo Gadiano, national government agencies and local government units for implementing programs and campaigns to improve the lives of our countrymen and most importantly, to every Palawenio whose love for peace resulted in eradicating insurgency in the province. As the designated cabinet officer for the regional development and security for Mimaropa, I have seen how Mimaropa RTF LCAC's efforts translated to concrete victories in uplifting the lives of Filipinos, particularly in Palawan. The first semester of 2023 saw Mimaropa RTF LCAC accelerate the implementation of the Barangay Development Program and retooled Community Support Program, expedite basic service delivery, promote military civilian activities, heighten campaigns for good governance and counter-communist terrorist groups 
organizing, among others. Peace and development go hand in hand. As such, we shall sustain these efforts through the whole of government approach to replicate Palawan's success in Occidental Mindoro and Oriental Mindoro and finally achieve an insurgency-free Mimaropa in the near future. The Declaration of Palawan as insurgency-free is a fitting milestone to kick off the government celebration of National Peace and Consciousness Month this September. This year's theme of the National Peace Consciousness Month, Kapayapaan, Responsibilidad ng Bawat Mamamayan, highlights our collective responsibility to protect peace regardless of religion, culture, and political beliefs. By supporting the ntf -LCAC and its whole-of-nation approach, we shall build a nation that is free from lawlessness, violence, and animosity. Today's declaration is both a reminder and a challenge for peace-loving Filipinos. We are reminded that by embracing the values that we cherish, peace, camaraderie, and patriotism, decades of armed struggle and cycles of violence can finally be put to an end. We must then bear in mind that in the pursuit of peace is not a one-time endeavor. It is an ongoing journey that demands our unwavering commitment and constant vigilance. Progress could not be achieved without peace. With its rich natural resources, resilient citizens, and a land free of extremism, Palawan is set to enter a new era of accelerated and unprecedented development that will highly benefit its people. On the part of the DICT and under the leadership of our president, we will continue to fast track our implementation of all our various programs uh, so as to pave the way to digitally transform the province of Palawan. Thank you very much at mabuhay po tayong lahat. Thank you, Secretary Uy. At this juncture, may we request everyone to direct your attention to the screen for the audio-visual presentation on the Insurgency-Free Declaration of Palawan. Ang Palawan ay kilala bilang mapayapang lalawigan. Walang lugar dito ang karahasan. Upang mapanatili ang kapayapaan sa lalawigan ng Palawan, itinatag ang Provincial Task Force Ending Local Communist Armed Conflict o ptf -LCAP. Noong October 1, 2019, alinsunod sa Executive Order No. 70, na inisyo ni dating Pangulong Rodrigo Duterte noong taong 2018. Ang PTF LCAC sa Palawan ay binubuo ng labing dalawang clusters. Sa pagtutulungan ng bawat ahensya na miyembro ng labing dalawang clusters ay naisakatuparan ang mga sumusunod na programa. Sa pamamagitan ng Community Support Program at Ugnayan sa Barangay, ay nalalaman ng Task Force ang mga isyu at concern sa komunidad na maaaring tugunan ng pamahalaan. Isinakatuparan ng Task Force ang Serbisyo Caravan para sa sama-samang paghahatid ng mga programa at serbisyo ng gobyerno sa mga malalayo at liblib na lugar. Inorganisa ng Task Force ang Kadre Palawan na siyang kauna-unahang organisasyon ng mga former rebels sa lalawigan.
regular na nagpupulong ang PTFL Cup upang pag-usapan ang mga programa at serbisyong maaaring ihatid sa mga kanayunan. Bahagi ng mga aktibidad ng task force ang pagbibigay ng mga pagsasanay sa mga former rebels na magagamit nila sa kanilang pagbabalik sa komunidad. Sa pamamagitan ng programa sa radyo ay naipaparating sa kanayunan ang mga serbisyo at programa ng gobyerno. Binibigyan ng tulong pinansyal ang mga former rebels sa ilalim ng Enhanced Comprehensive Local Integration Program at Local Social Integration Program para sa kanilang pagbabagong buhay. Sa pamamagitan ng Barangay Development Program ay tinutugunan ang mga kakulangan sa mga barangay na benepisyaryo ng ELCA. Kabilang dito ay ang mga proyektong kalsada, health facility at iba pa. Salamat po sa Palawan Task Force ILCAC at sa provincial government na walang sawang pagsuporta po sa amin. Uh, nagpapasalamat po ako sa ano, provincial government sa uh, pagbubuo ng task force. Malaki yung naitulong sa amin. Sa patuloy na pagtutulungan ng mamamayang palawenyo ay mapapanatili na malaya sa insurensiya ang lalawigan ng Palawan. And now, may we request Palawan Governor Victorino Dennis Socrates to present the declaration of Palawan Island as insurgency-free. Excellency, Ferdinand Romualdez Marcos Jr., President of the Philippines, distinguished guests, friends, mayad nga adlaw ka rin tanan. It is my honor and pleasure on behalf of the provincial government and people of Palawan to present to you the official declaration of Palawan Island as insurgency free and to thank you all for your contributions to achieving peace in our time. This event is really to celebrate the end of the local communist armed conflict in Puerto Princesa City and Palawan. And so as we thank everyone who contributed in one way or another to this outcome, I would like to respectfully invite the Honorable City Mayor, Lucilo Bayron, to join me in presenting His Excellency, President Marcos, with his famed copies of the Provincial Task Force and City Task Force ELCAC resolutions declaring the city of Puerto Princesa and province of Palawan insurgency free. Salamat, salamat, Kanindong Tanan. Thank you, Governor Socrates and Mayor Byron. Please give them a round of applause. And at this point, in the celebration of the Peace Month, let us direct your attention once again to the screen for another audio-visual presentation. The country's peace process started with President Ferdinand E. Marcos Sr. when his administration negotiated with the Moro Rebel Group, which led to the momentous signing of the Tripoli Agreement in 1976. President Ferdinand R. Marcos Jr. is determined to bring long-lasting peace, unity, and reconciliation to the Philippine people. He is committed to build on the gains of the comprehensive Philippine peace process and complete the implementation of all signed peace agreements. My country's experience in building peace and forging new paths of cooperation can enrich the work of the Security Council. Our success in the Bangsamoro Autonomous Region of Muslim Mindanao in the southern of, south of the Philippines is a centerpiece of these efforts. For almost half a century, some of our fellow Filipinos have taken to arms to make their views known and felt. We are now at the point in our history when their armed struggle has evolved 
we have now progressed together towards peace and development. To complete this reintegration process, I will issue a proclamation granting amnesty to rebel returnees, and I ask Congress to support me in this endeavor. The Celebration of Peace Month aims to increase consciousness and understanding among Filipino people on the comprehensive Philippine peace process and encourage their active participation in this effort. This year's Peace Month theme is Kapayapaan Responsibilidad ng Bawat Mamamayan. This is a call for every Filipino to contribute in fostering a culture of peace throughout the country. The UPAPRO encourages all its peace partners, government light agencies and institutions, local government units, the private sector, civil society organizations, the academy, and all Filipinos to play an active role in peace building so that a just and lasting peace will reign in our beloved country. We all want peace in our land. You and your children want a good chance at a better life in a safer, more prosperous country. Sa pangarap na maging mapayapa ang ating bansa, ang pangarap nyo ay pangarap ko. At this juncture, may we call on the Presidential Advisor on Peace, Reconciliation, and Unity, Secretary Carlito G. Galvez, Jr., to deliver a message and to introduce our guest of honor. To His Excellency, President Ferdinand R. Marcos, Jr., fellow public servants and peace partners, Isang maganda at mapayapang umaga sa ating lahat. This year's National Peace Consciousness Month celebration with the theme, Kapayapaan ay responsibilidad ng bawat mamamayan. is a clarion call that all Filipinos have a responsibility to protect, help push forward, and sustain the gains of the comprehensive Philippine peace process. It is also a reminder that even in the face of adversity, we can unite and reconcile, bridge divisions, and work towards a more peaceful, democratic, and just society. As we launch this important event under Presidential Proclamation Number 675, issued in 2004, declaring September of every year as National Peace Consciousness Month, we acknowledge the individuals, organizations, and institutions, most especially our local government units, which have served as instruments of peace building, conflict resolution, and reconciliation. The remarkable work over years served as an inspiration and reminder that all of us have a crucial role to play in building a nation where our differences are celebrated where every citizen's rights are respected, and where everybody's voice is heard and amplified. The opening of the Peace Month coincides with another milestone, the declaration of Palawan as an insurgency-free province. Such declaration is a cause for celebration and testament to the national and local government's steadfast efforts to resolve situations of conflict and put an end to arm violence in our country. We stand before you today with a beaming hope and an ironclad determination as we embark on a journey towards building a more peaceful, progressive, resilient Palawan, as well as other areas throughout the country that are now free from the shackles of insurgency. The key to achieving an insurgency-free province, therefore, is through the establishment of good governance, adherence to the rule of law, and ensuring social inclusion. Transparent and accountable governance build trust between among citizens and the government. We commend the local governments of Palawan, Palawan Province, and the Puerto Princesa City for making this very possible.
The contributions of the security sector led by the Armed Forces of the Philippines and the Philippine National Police is very critical as we establish the conditions wherein those who wish to sow fear, mistrust, and violence among the people of Palawan will lose their ability to do so. Members of the Armed Forces of the Philippines and the PNP have shown that they are not only peacekeepers but also peace builders as directed by the President. With the strategic victory against the communist insurgency, we at the UPAPRU are ready to roll out a holistic transformation program for former rebels as their families and communities and friends rescued. Mr. Jerwin Castigador is here and the 56 uh, FR, Mr. President, we will take care of them as we have promised to you that there will be no more recurrence of insurgency in the country during our MPF LCAC yesterday, Mr. President. It is also noteworthy that this year's Peace Month celebration is being held on the birth month of His Excellency President Ferdinand Marcos Jr. and his father, the late President Marcos Sr. Time and again, the President has demonstrated that he is a peace champion in the truest sense. Two months ago, following his assumption to the highest office in the land, President Marcos Jr played an instrumental role in uniting the country's true moral, moral fronts in Mindanao, the MNLEP and the MILF, after years of separation. As the country chief peace architect, President Marcos Jr. has emphasized that our all armed conflict in the country must be resolved during his term. And by all indications, we are on track towards realizing this goal, Mr. President. Thank you for your unwavering commitment for pushing forward the comprehensive Philippine peace process in which its dividends are now gradually being felt by the residents of Palawan and all Filipinos across the country, particularly in the one conflict affected and conflict vulnerable areas like Mindanao. Together, we can transform our country into a beacon of cooperation, a symbol of harmony and a testament of the power of diplomacy. Marami salamat at mabuhay ang bagong Pilipinas. Now, on my important task to introduce our guest of honor and speaker, ladies and gentlemen, the President of the Republic of the Philippines, His Excellency, Ferdinand Romualdez Marcos, Jr. Thank you all very much to uh, the uh, Oparo Secretary, Secretary uh, Charlie Galvez, Jr. Please, uh, please take the seats. Uh, Secretary um, Ivan Uy of the DICT and currently the Cabinet Officer for Regional Development and Security Task Force, ELCAC Mimaropa. The, our uh, partners now in the peace process one of the evolutions of our new approach to uh, the peace process in the Philippines. Uh, of course, the Palawan governor, our governor, uh, Governor Victorino Dennis Socrates, and Puerto Princesa Mayor, Mayor Lucilo Bayron, and my fellow workers in government, distinguished guests, ladies and gentlemen, Magandang umaga po sa inyo lahat. It is, uh, brings me a great joy to be able to be with you to preside over the pronouncement of Palawan as an insurgency-free province and to lead the opening ceremony of this year's National Peace Consciousness Month. I cannot think of a better, word, better way to open the uh, celebration, the commemoration of the National Peace Consciousness Month, then to also, at the same time, be able to announce and to declare Palawan Island as insurgency-free. I, I recognize, I recognize, of course, the collaborative and inclusive efforts of the regional and provincial task force. LCAC of the Task Force LCAC, 
Provincial Peace and Order Council, its partner agencies, and the people of the province for the successful implementation of the whole of nation approach to end local communist armed conflict. This has led to the achievement of this insurgency-free status for Palawan Island. The milestone that we celebrate today epitomizes the commitment that you have put to end the decades-long insurgency in the area through the provision of national reintegration programs for former rebels and promotion of the island's peace and security. At uh, habang uh, pinapakinggan natin ang mga paliwanag na ibinigay sa atin ng ating uh, mga butihing local government officials, si Mayor so si May uh, Governor Socrates and Mayor Byron, ay nakita naman natin kung bakit naging matagumpay itong ating peace process, hindi lamang dito sa Palawan, kung hindi sa iba't ibang uh, panig ng, uh, sa, sa iba't ibang lugar sa bansa. And these are the certain elements. Kung, kaya tayo, kung nakita ninyo, nung uh, ay nagpapasalamat tayo sa mga na-involved dito, ay napakarami ang pas pasasalamatan. At nandyan, nandyan siguro ang sekreto kung bakit naging matagumpay ito. Dahil lahat ng buong lipunan ay kasama na ngayon sa peace process. Noong kung dati ay nakita natin, ay ang kaharap lamang ng mga rebelde ay sundalo at saka pulis. At eh, kaya eh, napakahirap na magka maabot ang pagkakaintindihan at maibalik sa ating, uh, sa ating, sa ating lipunan ang mga, mga naging rebelde. Ngayon, ito ay marami ng dinagdag na mga itinatawag na features that have helped us bring us to this day where we can commemorate, uh, we can commemorate the announcement or the declaration of areas in the Philippines as insurgent-free. Unang-una diyan ay yung tinatawag nga natin na whole of nation approach. At hindi lamang ang sundalo ang kausap, hindi lamang pulis ang kaharap ng mga rebelde, kung hindi pati na lahat ng uh, ahensya ng, ng pamahalaan ay kasama dyan sa pagka, pag, pag, pagdudulot, pagdadala ng serbisyo, ng infrastruktura na kinakailangan doon sa mga komunidad na yun. Kaya naman ay yan ang ipinaglalaban dahil alam naman po natin ay... Uh, mamumundok ang isang magiging rebelde dahil sa kanilang palagay, hindi sila tinutulungan ng kanilang pamahalaan. Hindi sila tinutulungan ng kanilang mga opisyal. Hindi sila, they are neglected and have lost hope in our uh, peaceful, in, in a peaceful life, in a peaceful society. And that is why they resort to violence and they resort to fighting uh, in uh, the different forms. So, that is the first thing that we need to attend to. Kailangan maramdaman ng bawat Pilipino na nandito, hindi lamang ang pamahalaan, kung hindi pati na ang local communities, pati na ang local government, pati na ang mga pulis, pati na ang mga sundalo, pati na lahat ng bahagi ng ating lipunan ay nandyan upang suportahan at pagandahin ang kanilang buhay. Kapag natupad natin yan, Natupad natin yung pangako na yan ay makikita natin na magiging mas madali ang usapan na papunta sa kapayapaan. Isa pang bahagi nito ay ang ating pagpapartner sa ating mga local government officials na ngayon, pati local government ay maaring makipag-usap sa mga lokal na rebelde dahil kada, alam naman natin pagka tayo na galing sa galing sa uh, iban, isang lugar, ay eh, kilala naman natin. Na, kilala mga, mga kamag-anak natin, yung mga kaiskwela natin yung dati. Kaya madaling, mas madaling lapitan ng mga local executive. Malaking bagay po ito. Ito ay malaking bahagi dito sa NTFLCAC. At uh, na, na, naging, um, kaya nagbago ang patakbo ng peace process dahil isa sa bahagi yan ay yung pagsama ng local government at ng lahat ng iba't ibang ahensya ng pamalaan ng national government upang tulungan at suportahan ang pagbalik ng mga naging rebelde sa ating lipunan. 
Kaya ito po, and that is why it is uh, gratifying to see. Because we have seen the success of this principle, of this concept, all around the country. Uh, kaya naman, eh, nandyan yung ating uh, sekretary ng Oparu, eh, nakakapangako na siya na sinasabi niya, insurgency-free na, magiging insurgency-free na ang Mimaropa at malapit na ay masasabi natin yung mga natira pa ay tinatrabaho natin at dahang-dahang ay buma, de, na, 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 bumabalik nga ang mga dating lumalaban sa gobyerno ay bumabalik na sa ating lupunan upang magkaroon sila ng magandang hanap buhay, maalagaan nila ang kanilang mga pamilya at bukod sa lahat na meron silang pag-asa para sa kinabukasan na ang kanilang buhay ay may pag-asang gumanda na ang kanilang buhay ay may maari nilang mas maganda magiging buhay ng kanilang mga anak kesa sa naging buhay nila. Lahat naman tayo, ganyan ang ating mga pangarap, ganyan ang ating panalangin. Kaya dahil, dahil dyan, nakita natin ang uh, uh, naging matagumpay ang uh, ating peace efforts na sinimula natin na napakatagal na. Ngayon pa lamang nakikita na talagang may pagbabago at uh, gumaganda ang mga magiging pagkakataon, ang mga opportunities na dinadala natin sa ating mga kababayan dahil merong nang nakakamit na natin ang kapayapaan doon sa kanilang mga komunidad. Kaya muli, pasalamatan natin lahat ng kasama dito sa uh, peace process na ating na, na, na ating uh, ating uh, pinagdidiriwang ngayong ngayong araw na ito dahil sa uh, Peace Consciousness Month at ang uh, pagdeklara ng Palawan na insurgent free. Congratulations sa inyong lahat. Ipagpatuloy ninyo ang inyong nasimulan. At uh, nang sa ganun ay maging mas mapayapa ang Pilipinas at maging mas mapayapa ang buhay ng bawat Pilipino. Maraming salamat po at magandang umaga po sa inyong lahat. Thank you, Mr. President. Maraming maraming salamat po. May we request the President to grant us a, a group photo downstage and may we uh, request everyone to gather dito po sa center. Punta lang po tayo dito sa center, yung mga participants po natin. Magdikit-dikit lang po tayo dito sa gitna for a uh, photo opportunity with the President. Facing the stage po, everybody. The rest of the participants, may we request you po doon sa center. Mag-gather lang po tayo doon sa gitna. Maraming salamat. Thank you, Mr. President. And that concludes our program. Thank you, Mr. President, for gracing the celebration of the National Peace Consciousness Month 2023 and the Declaration of Palawan Island as insurgency-free.